Let's take a look at the ledge checker. We don't need the ledge as a variable anymore. And the same thing with the grabbed ledge. Okay, I'm just going to delete it. And make sure that there are no errors. Let me also take a look at the animator. hanging idle. And instead of turning off the gravity here, I want to do this in the code. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. Add two of the abilities. And I'm going to go back to the ledge checker. Okay. Here, let me create a new function. Pull offset position and when we're offsetting the position that's when we break and say ledge grabbing is true. Actually let me put this in the function. Okay, first we want to get the box collider of the platform. We pass on the game object that is colliding, which is the platform. We get the box collider. And if that box collider is null, Turn false, meaning we're not doing a ledge grab, otherwise return true. We only have to do this once, so if grabbing ledge is already true, again, we don't do anything. And when we do grab the ledge, we want to remove gravity. We also get rid of any remaining velocity. You don't want to float off. Save all the code. And I'm going to go back and play. See what happens. Okay, as, long, as soon as we detect the ledge, we turn off gravity and get rid of any velocity. Okay, so far so good. Now I want to get the position at the very edge of the platform so that we can offset off from it. We need a new value in Y and Z. X will be zero. And we get that from the box collider. X is, Y is box collider size Y divided by two, which is half. We add that to the position of the platform. So we get the top tip of the platform. We also want to get the horizontal tip. If the player is facing forward, Z, we get the Z position of the platform minus size of the box collider. Otherwise, this is a plus. So that's the position of the edge of the collider of the platform. I'll call it platform edge. X will be zero, we get Y and Z. And once we have the platform, we move the rigid body position to the platform edge position plus 
the offset. We already have a public variable here. Let's calibration. So that will be the new position. Except Z will be based on whether you're going from the left or right. So in, an, in one circumstance where you're moving to the right, we get just the normal edge calibration. If we're going from the other way, we need to minus the Z. In this case, I'll get a new vector. X will be zero. We get Y and negative Z. Save. I'm going to go back and check if the code works. Okay. If I look at the script, calibration is zero. Let me add some numbers. Just need some fine tuning. not perfect, but that'll do for now. Apply all to the original. Let me also try going from the other side. Okay, looks like it's working fine. And we don't have any code attached to any of the platforms, but ledge detection is still working fine. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.